let us first define the term computer. According to the Oxford Dictionary, a computer is defined as an automatic electronic apparatus for making calculations or controlling operations that are expressible in numerical or logical terms. Over the years, computers have evolved from being heavy juggernauts and various avatars like mini, micro and mainframe to what is now one of the ubiquitous devices in today's world. This is what a typical personal computer looks like. Though there are computers found today that are not PC, a PC is what typically represents a computer. It is based on an architecture that is typical of most of the computers in use today. There are basically two aspects of computing, the hardware and software. All the circuitry and electromechanical devices from the chip to the peripherals constitute the hardware. On the other hand, the software is the written code and sets of instructions that gets the computer to do any work. A computer interprets the code in form of zeros and ones called the binary digits, or in short, bits. Eight such bits constitute a byte. All the data stored on the computer is stored in the form of a series of bits and bytes of zeros and ones. A computer today finds application in virtually every field, from simple arithmetic and logical tasks to navigation systems and weather forecasting and even in playing games with three-dimensional graphics. However, in this tutorial, we are more concerned with the hardware composition of a typical personal computer. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit, Microprocessor or simply Processor. It is the core of a computer system. It does all the arithmetic and logical operations. The processors can be classified on the basis of their instruction sets or bandwidth. Thus, a processor can be said to be a RISC or a SIS processor or a 32-bit or 64-bit one. The bandwidth of a processor is the amount of data that it can process in one clock cycle. A CPU has three basic units on a single chip. The ALU that carries out all the arithmetic and logical operations, the memory unit in form of cache and registers that hold the operands and intermediate data as well as the instructions for processing, and the control unit which controls the operations on the chip. The speed of a CPU is determined by its clock speed or the number of cycles data can be processed in a second. This frequency is measured in megahertz or gigahertz. Today's clock speeds typically range from 1 to 3.6 gigahertz. The CPU is placed on a computer mainboard, also called the motherboard. This is the medium through which all the components of a computer interact. The main areas of a motherboard are the chipset, the BIOS chip, and the CPU, memory slots, slots for add-on cards such as PCI or PCI Express, the AGP slot for connecting graphics card to a high-speed internet, connectors for peripherals like the keyboard and the USB and various other I.O. connectors as well as power connectors. The computer needs input in many forms. It needs first the data on which it has to perform operations. It also needs programs or sets of instructions to perform operations. A wide variety of input options is available today. These are keyboards, mice, gaming devices, optical scanners, and digital cameras to name a few.
The keyboard is the most common form of input today. It is used to input text. The keyboard uses a layout called the QWERTY developed by Christopher Latham Schultz. It contains the character keys, numeric keys and special keys on board for special functions. Another layout called the Dvorak was also developed but the layout never really caught on. Mouse The mouse is a pointing device used for graphical user interface. It uses a movement sensor and converts the user's hand movements into two-dimensional motion on the screen. It uses an XY coordinate locator to determine the pointer's positions on screen. The mouse can either be mechanical using a trackball or optical using light to sense motion. Gaming Devices Gaming devices, well, are devices used to provide input to games. These include game pads, joysticks, and steering wheels, and offer ergonomic control of games. These help simulate real experience with their shape and effects, such as the full street pad. Scanner. The scanner is an input device used to create digital copies of printed documents, photographs, paintings, or fabric. The object is exposed to light and the image is recorded on the series of CCD on the scanner, which converts it into pixel value for digital storage. The scanner is used widely in offices that are yet to go paperless and were initially lab dust by photographers who needed to convert their pictures into digital format when the digital cameras were not so technologically advanced. Camera. Digital cameras are fast gaining popularity as they now come with really state of the art technology and prices that are comparable to any good quality SLR film based camera. Instead of the photographic film, a digital camera uses charge couple devices or CCD that are digital equivalents of the photographic film. The light from the lenses are focused onto the CCD that generates pixel information for each set. This information is then stored on either internal or external memory and is ready for further manipulation. Output Output is the result of the processing that the computer does on the data. The output can be obtained in different forms depending upon the media used. This can be video, audio, print, or in a combination of these media. The visual output of a computer is received on a visual display unit, VDU or simply a monitor. 
There are various technologies existing in the field of visual display. These are CRT, LCD, and plasma. The suitability of every technology depends on the application it is intended to be put in. For example, graphic artists and designers prefer LCD for its impeccable geometry and distortion free display. LCD is also preferred for its form factor, which saves a lot of desktop space for those who need a better looking option. However, higher range of plot monitors coming out of factory forces its price to be more than a point. CRT monitors, on the other hand, are cheap and provide good display for home use and entertainment applications like movies and games. CRT monitors. The cathode ray tube or CRT uses an electron gun to fire cathode rays on a surface usually coated with phosphorus. The electrons hitting the screen make the phosphorus glow in various combinations of red, blue and green. These three basic colors represent a pixel on screen that may typically have resolutions from 800 into 600 to 1600 into 12. An LCD model. It consists of an electrically controlled light polarizing liquid trapped in cells between two transparent polarizing sheets. The polarizing axis of the two sheets are aligned in the same direction. Each cell is supplied with electrical contacts that allow an electric field to be applied to the liquid inside. Before an electric field is applied, the molecules in the liquid are in a relaxed state. Light can pass through the liquid without any effect on its direction of polarization. So the entire assembly appears transparent. Printers are devices used to print digital images onto paper. Depending on the printing technology used, a printer can print anything ranging from text to graphics or even high quality photographs. The printers can be classified into the following types. Dot match printers. A dot matrix printer uses a drum with protruding pins that cast an impression on the paper through an inked ribbon. Inkjet printer. Inkjet printers usually work by having a print cartridge with a series of tiny electrically heated chambers that are constructed by photolithography. To print, the printer runs a pulse of current through the heating element. The ink in the chamber forms a bubble which when exploding spits ink drops onto the paper. An inkjet printer is now used widely as a home printer as it can print good quality graphics and photographs in resolutions ranging to around 1400 dpi or more. Laser printer.
the laser printer uses almost the same technology as a photocopier was developed by Xerox. It uses a laser beam to mark an image on a photosensitive drum. The drum then impresses colored toner onto the paper. The laser printer can print high quality color graphics at high speed and are ideally suited for corporate environments. Audio. The audio subsystem of a computer consists of an audio processing unit, either in form of an add-on card or inbuilt in the chipset, and speaker system. The main task of the audio system is to convert analog input into digital signal and also to convert the digital output into analog signal to be reproduced by the speakers. A speaker is an electronic device used to convert electrical signals of varying magnitude into audible sound. It usually consists of a speaker cone made of plastic or cardboard which is moved by magnetic forces induced by the electromagnet to which the input signal is directed. The audio output has now moved from being just mono to stereo. Later introduction of dedicated subwoofers led to newer and more channels of sound such as 2.1, 4.1, 5.1 or 7.1 channel sound. Memory and Storage A computer memory is used to hold data and instructions before, in between and after processing. Every computer needs memory to function. Although data is held onto the processor chip in caches and registers, by memory we often refer to the physical memory that a computer has in terms of RAM or random access memory. Relatively, permanent storage of data is carried on the hard disk, CDs, DVDs and is often called the storage in computing language. Memory can be classified as RAM and ROM, volatile and non-volatile, or magnetic and optical. RAM The random access memories used in today's computers are the RAM modules that consist of capacitors the told electrical charge to denote a binary state of 0 or 1. Charges leaking from the capacitor result in data loss and therefore a constant or periodical supply of electricity is needed to store data. That is why a power outage results in data loss from the RAM and that's why it's called volatile memory or dynamic RAM. The most popular type of RAM in use today is the DDR variant of SDRAM. SDRAM stands for Synchronous Dynamic RAM and DDR for Double Data Rate. These operate at the frequencies of up to 533 MHz and offer able support for today's fast processors. Today's computers typically have RAM ranging from 256 MB to 2 GB. Hard disk drive. A hard disk drive is the most common example of storage in a computer system. It can store anything from 40 to 400 gigabytes of data. It is relatively slower than the system memory but faster than other storage media like the CD, DVD or memory sticks. It uses metal platters coated with some magnetic substance. The 
polar orientation of the magnetic media stores the binary state of 0 or 1. Data is stored in tracks that are further divided into sectors on a platter. The corresponding sectors across all the platters are called cylinders. The data access from the hard disk mainly depends on the spinning velocity of its platter. Hard disks today are found in speeds of 5400, 7200 or 10,000 revolutions per minute with capacities ranging from 40 to 400 gigabytes. In terms of price per MB of storage, the hard disk offer cheapest storage option. Optical Media Optical storage media offer permanent storage of data on optical media such as CD or DVD. Data on an optical media is represented in bits and bumps. The optical drives use a laser to read the data. Optical media today are widespread and offer cheap, portable and relatively secure data storage. There are various optical solutions. CD-ROM Compact disc read-only memory are circular plastic discs that hold around 650 to 800 MB of data or 80 minutes of digital uncompressed audio. These are read-only discs and the information cannot be written over. Like other optical media, the CD uses a series of picks and bumps to represent the zeros and ones of data. The drive uses a laser that reflects from these bits and bumps to read data. The pits represent zero and the bumps one. CDs today are widely used to store and distribute data, software, etc. A CD is the cheapest optical solution. CD Recordable CDR stands for Recordable Compact Discs and as the name suggests, these can be recorded using proper hardware such as CD Writer. The writing laser burns bits on the recording layer to store data. These discs can only be burned once and has the same capacity as that of a CD-ROM. A CD-RW or a rewritable disc can be written and erased over a thousand times. It uses organic material to write and erase data. It can be used on any CD drive or CD-RW compatible music systems. CDD Compact Disc Distant Audio The audio CD uses about 74 minutes of stereo digital uncompressed audio at 41,000 samples per second with 16 bits per sample. These are suitable for excellent reproduction of digital stereo sounds and are widely used by the music industry to distribute music albums. ECD Video CD are used to store movies compressed using MPG-1 and MPG-2 format. DVD-ROM Originally called Digital Video Disc and later Digital Versatile Disc, the term DVD now stands for nothing particular. It uses the same technology as a CD to store and retrieve data. However, it uses a laser with lesser wavelengths to achieve more capacity in the same space. Single-sided DVDs can store about 4.6 GB of data on a single-layer disk or 8.5 GB on a dual-layer disk. Double-sided disks can store 9.4 to 17 GB of data. Recordable DVD The recordable DVD arena is confusing and crowded as various tech houses are pushing and lobbying for their standards to gain popularity. All these disks are almost the same as they offer almost the same capacity. The recordable standards are DVD-R These can be written only once and are supported by Panasonic, Toshiba, Apple Computers, Hitachi, 
NEC, Pioneer, Sharp, and Samsung Drive. DVD Plus R, same as DVD R, supported by Philips, Sony, HP, Dell, Ryko, and Yamaha. DVD RW, these are rewritable discs supported by Panasonic, Toshiba, Apple Computers, Hitachi, NEC, Pioneer, Sharp, and Samsung Drive. DVD Plus RW, same as DVD RW, are supported by Philips, Sony, HP, Dell, Ryko, and Yamaha. DVD RAM, rewritable standard put forward by Panasonic, Hitachi, and Toshiba. Blu ray disc. It further pushes the compact disc technology and promises much higher densities of data on the same size disc. It uses a blue violet laser instead of the red one used in a DVD drive. A single Blu ray disc holds about 25 to 27 GB of data on a disc the size of a regular floppy. Floppy disks are media of secondary storage that uses a plastic disk enclosed in a plastic case. It uses the same principle as the hard disk to store data. It consists of a thin plastic disk coated with some magnetic material. Floppies are thin, lightweight and easily portable, but offer very limited storage space. 1.44 MB and 1.2 MB floppies were used very commonly before the advent of other media such as the CD, the zip media and the USB thumb drive. Floppies today on their way out.